So today we're back with another unboxing and these two albums I did get from Barnes & Noble. So we'll go ahead and get started on that. I didn't find out until recently that Barnes & Noble even had albums to sell until I was doing some research on where I could find them like in person instead of online all the time since shipping can be expensive. And that's when I found out that Lancy Noble sold them. So I did have a few Super M albums, so I went ahead and picked up Ten's copy. So this is what the sleeve looks like. I'm pretty sure this is like the US version, not the Korean press version. And then we have Ten's name. And this is what the slip cover looks like. Let's go ahead and look at the poster. So I believe each member version does come with a member, and then the United version comes with all the members on the poster. Let me go ahead and remove my photo card. So here is the CD that comes in the album, very simple, and I think, oops, or when I'm recording this part of the haul, I think they are preparing for another comeback, I'm not completely sure, but I know their YouTube page has started to post like little snippets of the members here and there. So I think they are, but I'm not completely sure. Oh, look how elegant he looks. Oh my goodness. But the only two songs I really listen to out of this um, album is probably just Dropping and No Manners. Those are my two personal favorites from the album. And I did also want to try and get Lucas's version or member version of the photo book, but they didn't have him in stock, I think. Um, they only had three other members in stock at the Barnes & Noble I went to. But I was very tempted to get Lay's album for his US debut, I think it was because the photo cards in there kind of look like tarot cards and I feel like that just never- I've never seen that before so then I kind of wanted to get it but I didn't realize until I got home which album it was and I think they were like selling it for like $33 or something and I wasn't sure if it was worth it but look at these scenes and then they have their group shot Yeah, this photo book is very, like, you have to be very gentle with it or else the pages start falling apart very easily, which I learned from my past Super M albums. And look at our photo card. And we got 10 in his album. Usually you get another member, I think. Well, they, the photo cards are random, but usually I think you pull someone else. So let's go ahead and move on to Monster, Monster X's album. I wasn't sure if I was going to really get this album or not since I don't really dig the um, album cover. But oof, I think I need to find a way to save the sticker. I decided to buy it anyways because go ahead and look at the track list. I love You Can't Hold My Heart like way too much so I decided to just get the album anyways. Let me go ahead and pull out everything in there. So I believe there are um, four versions of the album but oh my goodness this page is bent. Oh well. But I believe there are four versions of this album but each 
the photo shoots inside are the exact same. I think it's just the cover art on the outside that are different and they connect together. And the Barnes & Noble I went to only had three of the versions and I picked up um, one of four or like the first version I guess. But I do think I will probably order some more albums online since K-Town, um, or is it K-Town Music LA or something like that? The one that I ordered from before still has the free shipping over $100, so I do think I'm going to order again from there. Just because... I don't know, I have an obsession with buying like photo books now, but I do need to calm down because like they're expensive, but you know what, I think it's worth it. <laughs> Which probably isn't what my bank account is saying. Oh my goodness, it's red glasses, yes. I really like the way these pages feel, like they're thin, but they're kind of matte too. I do prefer glossy pages the most in photo books, but this might be my next favorite type of page type, I don't know. <laughs> but because of all the inclusions in this album, the my, part of my album cover is kind of like curved a little on top, kind of like it looks bloated just because of how much comes in it and was like shoved in the pocket but at least you're getting your money's worth <laughs> but I really like outdoor um, photo shoots I think those are my favorite types of photo shoots for the photo book and this is the CD But yeah, I really- oh wait, is it upside down? I think it is. But I really do not know how to feel about the album cover because, I don't know, it's just not my favorite, but... <laughs> so this is the next thing. I think this is just the lyric book. Can't Hold My Heart is my favorite song from this album. Here's like the mirror sheet and stuff, like I still don't know. I'll figure this out like off camera. And then here is the poster, I believe. So this is the poster. And I think this is where the mirror sheet comes into use so that you can read what it says. Well, let's go ahead and look at the group PC. Number names were already shown on the back, so I'll go ahead and just flip them over. So yes, this was the first clip, so let's go ahead and move on. So these are the two albums I bought from Barnes & Nobles, and the pulls that I got, I went ahead and just folded this poster back up because there was no way I was fitting it in the frame, but we'll go ahead and move on to the next shot. Alright, so today I have Neo Zones, the final round. This is the Player 1 version. Before, I have already unboxed the Player 2 version, and we're starting it off without the plastic because when I was recording this, trying to take off the plastic, when I was tearing off that tab, it was just not pretty, so I decided to just cut that part. So, there may be some background noise in this video because the air conditioning is running behind me, and we'll just <laughs> have to deal with it because it is hot. But let me go ahead and take out the inclusions. Alright, so here is the CD. I think this CD I do prefer over the Player 2 version, and this photo book I do like more, so that's why I, did, I decided to get it as well, because 
at first when I went to my Target, they only had the Player 2 version. So now we have the Player 1. And this video has been, like this haul or whatever, has been recorded. Like all these clips have been recorded over like the past like two months or so. So for right now, um, Super M's next album hasn't come out yet. It's supposed to come out in like another week or so, I think. But those albums might end up popping up at the end of this haul, but I'm not completely sure because it depends on um, what albums I get in between and how long this haul will be. But I do have other albums coming in that are like shipping to me, so those might, might like those hauls might come out before this haul. Since this haul basically just has a bunch of older albums. But I really like this photo shoot a lot more compared to the Player 2 version, just because there's a lot more color in here. While the Player 2 version was kind of more like, they had like black outfits more. And I really like the outfits that are in here, they just pop out so much. See, I'm just doing a quick, quick little flip through so this clip will be like pretty short, but <laughs> it's okay. So here are all the lyrics. I am afraid of this album falling apart though because it's a glue and spine. So I probably should be more careful with it, but I can't flip to the next page. And here's the last picture and credits. And for the pulls, we can start with the postcard. Ah, we got Yuta again. I did pull him in my Player 2 version. For the circle card, we pulled Doyoung. Oh my god, he's so cute. And last but not least for the photo card. Ooh, we, play, we pulled Tail. Very nice. Alright, so this clip was pretty short, but we'll go ahead and move on to the next clip. So today I have another album to unbox, and if my voice sounds really like worn out, it's because I was just finished um, going out with uh, my friends to the mall. Which is where I did happen to get this album because it was at my Barnes & Noble. And every time I would pass by it, I would like debate if I want to purchase it or not, but it got to the better of me and I just ended up buying it. And this album is like kind of more on the expensive side too, since it's like $30. But I just decided to get it because I was like, why is it this way? Okay. But this is Lay's, um... Is it his third album? Yes, this is his third album with the track list. Now, this album is pretty um, damaged, as you can see. But I really like the photo cards that come in here. And I really like the design of um, the cover and the photo book. So I decided to just pick it up. Um, this piece will come out. And I really like the style of the cards. So yeah, I just decided to splurge and get it. And he just looks so good in here. So here is the little CD. And I believe this is the Chinese version and the English version. And I just really like the like, design of these CDs. They're just so pretty. I love like these drawing types of like doodles, I don't know. <laughs> There's the English version. I really need to get one of those CD players that display the CDs because I just, I just want to show them off because they look so pretty. So here is the photo book.
He looks so good in this photo book. I love this little like casual type of concept. And he's out here like shirtless in some of the pictures too, but you know, it is what it is. He knows he has stunning visuals, so. <laughs> But yeah, this album, not many people or people or companies are really selling it since this is one of those English or like American, I guess, type of debuts or comeback. So there's only like a small number of websites that sell them. So since I did find it at my Barnes & Nobles, I did decide to just get it. Since at first, I did first see this like about a month or so ago and I was really like debating if I wanted to get it since it was so expensive being like $30 compared to like normal albums which are usually like $20, maybe $25 um, dollars. and here are the lyrics but I just decided to get it since I wanted to <laughs> treat myself and I really like the um, photo card set that comes with this even though there are no um, random cards that you get with this um, album and they um, most companies that were selling it anyways were selling it for around $30 if you include shipping and everything so I think you just slide these cards out and I really like the holographic type of container it comes in. I don't know if I'm getting everything out or not. There's like one more card stuck here. I think that's everything. So yes, there are like these tarot cards and if you kind of um, shift it certain ways, they're kind of like shimmery or like iridescent and I just find that so pretty. And I really like how these kind of look like those tarot cards so pretty. I love this. I mean, this concept. Or well, I'm not really sure what the concept really is, but I'm loving it. <laughs> and I just really like how pretty these photo cards are. I'm not sure if I was showing that in the correct order. Yes. Okay. I was looking at the numbers and I was like, oh no, did I put them out of order? Look at this robe that he's wearing. Wow. It just looks so good. And I'm like still struggling to pronounce like the... <laughs> name of this album like it's like Nama no, no or something like that I can like never do it right because I keep stumbling over my words but Lay knows what he's doing oh this card's upside down it wasn't only this card that was upside down he is just a beautiful human being like his visuals are top-notch his voice is so amazing the man's got everything down and here is the last card so yes a very simple unboxing but I think this was just a very, like, an album I was kind of just waiting for, like, to convince myself to get. And I did finally push myself to get it. Even though maybe it was a lot of money and I might regret it down the road, seeing, like, all my money go down. But I think it was worth it. Like, <laughs> I just really love this concept. He looks so beautiful. And you can already hear my voice breaking because it's, like wearing down from throughout the day but we'll go ahead and move on to the next clip and start off with this package for this clip because this is the only package i have today 
And I believe there's only one item in this package. And I did decide to try out a new company and see like how they package because I'm trying to experiment with new companies to buy from or platforms I guess to buy from. So let's go ahead and take off this bubble wrap and as you can already see we have Blackpink's 2020 Summer Diary in Seoul and this is the DVD version I believe because I believe there's also like kit version. So I did order from Sarang Hello. I have this backwards. And yes, I think this is a sticker. No? I think it's a sticker. I don't know. Yeah, this is the place I bought from. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. Because there are just so many inclusions in here and I love the photo shoot in here. So this is the front of the box. I'll go ahead and go through all the sides. And here's the back. And I love how like there's like a design when it hits the light if you can't see. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take this cover off. And this is what it looks like on the inside of the box. So we'll go ahead and go through all these inclusions later. So we'll go ahead and start off with the photo book. This is what everything looks like on the outside. And I love the feel of the outside of this photo book. It kind of has like that soft like silicone type of feel. I don't know how to explain it, but they all look so elegant in this photo shoot. Like I don't know what it is, but this photo shoot just hits different and I love it. I swear at least I mean Jenny, sorry. <laughs> Jenny's um highlights are just so iconic. I love it. Actually, are those highlights? I don't even know. I don't think they are highlights, but the blonde. And then I just still live for Rosé's purple lavender hair. But I think her coloring in the hair has kind of faded at this point, I think. I just love all the flowers that pop up. And we have Jisoo. I'm still confused as to why they basically just stuck a stem in her shirt, but I'm here for it. Ugh, Jisoo is just killing us with her visuals. I kind of hate it when they do, when they put like the idol space in like the crack and then you can like, it's like you struggle to like see them fully. I love the flowers that she's holding for this. And this dress is so pretty. I love it. I love the backgrounds for all these photo shoots as well. She's so adorable. I love her. Now this really feels like a magazine photo shoot. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's like the vibe it's giving me. But they look so expensive. Like, and it's not even like the showy type of expensive. It's like that simple type of expensive. I don't know if that makes sense either, but I'm just saying what's coming into my brain. Black pink. 
Ooh, I love Jenny's pants. I would kill for those. I feel like if you ever want to buy any of like the pieces they're wearing, it's probably expensive. I'm just like, I feel like their clothes probably cost a lot now. I mean, they are ambassadors for like high-end companies anyway, so... They just look so beautiful in this shoot. What is this? A pond? I can't tell what their background is for this. But I just love rosé skirt as well. Oof. So here are the credits. So that was it for the photo book. And now for in here, it's basically, I think, I believe it's a mask strap, but I think I'm gonna leave it in there because there's really no point to taking it out since it kind of just looks like a ribbon. Next up, I believe this is the CD. Yep. This is so bright. Oh my goodness, I didn't think it would be this bright. But I don't know what it is. I think this might be the random Polaroid set. Oh my goodness, I don't know how I'm going to take this off. Hold on. Yeah, I decided to just slice through the outside covering. But yes, I do believe this is the random Polaroid set. Okay. Let's go ahead and go through the group pictures first. And they're like the glossy type too. And then for the randoms, we have Rosé's version. I don't know how many versions there are. There might be four different versions, I think. But I'm not sure. But I really do love the borders that they have with the sparkly. So next up, we have this postcard set, I believe, and I think you just slide it out, I'm assuming. So we have Rosé, oops, they're upside down, hold on, we have Rosé. These postcards are so pretty. My Lisa. I love these flowers. She's just so adorable in this photo shoot. We have Jisoo. I love this hairpin in her. We have Jenny. And then this is the little sticker sheet that you get. There's a like greenish one and a pink version. And then next up we have like this huge thing. I have no idea what it is. But it basically comes in like this little folder. Let me scoot out. Yeah, it comes in like this folder type deal. And it's just like really big postcards. Or I don't even know what you would call this, but they're huge. So we have Jenny. I'm still living for her pants. They're so pretty. Lisa. I'm living for this shirt as well. They can rock those outfits so good. I feel like I will not be able to pull that off. And I just love the designs on the back of these postcards. Oof, I can't separate them. These just look so beautiful. I cannot 
pick up these cards. And that was the last one. Next up, we have the photo card set, I believe. Um, okay. So we have Jisoo first. And the cards are kind of stuck together. She's just so adorable. I love her. Uh, so I think, I don't know, I was about to say, I think there's two, I mean one horizontal for each member, and two vertical cards, but I guess that wasn't the case. I did miss one of Jenny's cards because I was a little confused on that, but this was the Jenny card I missed because it was stuck to the back of this one. And now it's time for the folded posters. They have Jenny's. And they basically just have the logo on the back. Next up we have Lisa. Jisoo and Rose. So this was everything for the first clip with the random Polaroids and all the other inclusions. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next clip. So I do finally have the newest Super M album. I'm not completely sure which version of the album this is, but at the Target I went to, this was the only version available. And I have already gone ahead and made a cut on the top but I did cut through on the album. I don't know if you can tell on the screen, but I already cut. I know like whenever I was cutting it, I made an indent into the album. So I should probably start cutting it like when it's on the edge corner right here or find a different way to cut it because I need to stop doing that because I did it to my One Is Lift album as well. But here is the front in the back with the track list. I have not yet had the chance to listen to all the other tracks, but I did stay up to watch the one Monster and in Infinity um, music video. And I had no idea that Super M was collaborating with Marvel, or at least I didn't see the news about it. I'm not sure where everything is, okay. So it has a green box on the inside. Well, this is interesting. So there's like a little, what do you even call this? Container? Something like that? But I think this is probably where all the cards are. And it also came with this clear top. And I'm pretty sure this should be the photo book. And I didn't know until when I was already on my way to my target that they weren't putting the that they weren't putting the unit version of the album in store. So I did just when I got back home, I did just order them online because I do also want the unit versions. Look at Taemin. Yeah, so my unit albums should be coming in sometime next week, I think on Thursday. So then I'll also unbox those. Mark looks so good. 100 and their newest entire inside are the other tracks I've listened to, mainly because they have music videos that go along with them. So those are the only other tracks that I've listened to so far from the album, but look, oh my goodness, the editing for this, so beautiful. 
But yeah, I'm excited for those unit versions to come in because I feel like they're going to look real good in those. But of course, I love these group photo books as well. But I'm not sure if I'm going to buy the other versions of like their group, I guess, photo books. But I'm surprised that for at least the Target I went to, they didn't have the Target exclusive album covering. And I think for these photo books that they're all different for each version of the group overall. Photos. I think there are all different photos for each version. So that was it for the photo book and we'll go ahead and look through this container. So we'll go ahead and look through this first. I think this is the lyric book. Oh, it's not. Kind of reminds me of that comic book type of theme, but I guess that's kind of what they're going for since they collaborated with Marvel. But this is really interesting. I like this. I thought it was going to be a lyric book, even though now that I'm thinking about it, the lyrics were literally in the photo book that we just went through, so. so yep, this is the CD. Open up the folded poster. So what the folder, I mean the folded poster looks like, oh it's a folder. And the other side just looks like that. Through the random postcard. Then we have bacon. Very pretty. He's so pretty. Look at that skin. And then we'll go ahead and look through this, which I believe is another photo card. So we have Lucas. Kind of looks like an ID card, I guess you can say. So front and the back. And then for like the whitish gray background, we have... Oh my gosh, look at him. He is so adorable. Look at the little frog like shower cap. I can't tell if that's a filter. It might be a filter. I can't tell, but it looks so adorable. And then for this black card, there's no signature, but... Ooh, so it's a group. Um, what's it called? Photo card. I was about to say, like, I forgot the word for it. I don't know if there's different versions, probably, but this is the version. So, yep, that was this clip with all the pools, and we'll go ahead and move on to the next clip. So today, I do have another package with me, and there may be some background noise because the children and my family are over, so... Ignore that, but we do have one album that came in today, I believe, according to the tracking number. Um, let me go ahead and get this open. Oh, this is a new bubble wrap, but I did order this from um, K-Pop Music Town LA. Because they were one of the last people to still have them in stock but I think recently um, recently Sarang Hello actually restocked on this album so in here we just have some freebies so they did change up their packaging a little bit compared to last time when we got them so the little sticker as always the business card and then we have a stray kids freebie all right so i have actually um unboxed the limited version of their their first album but the very the original version so this and that one was for my friend but yeah i really oh my gosh there's an indent i think it's from the magnet though but i like how there's like a little peak hole here so yes on top it just says stray kids everywhere all around the world and let me go ahead and open this up. Well, this is kind of dirty, but I don't know where everything is. So here is the CD. I think this album is kind of dirty. I can't tell if it's like dirty or if it's supposed to be part of the design, but I'm assuming it's dirty. 
I'm I don't know but yeah you can see all like those smudges but that's okay it zooms in a little bit honestly I kind of like the these albums where they kind of have a flexible covering because I think it's easier to flip through the photo book that way oh look at baby John but yeah their transitions for god menu god's menu and um back door like i swear the transitions are so good they really stepped up their editing game for that look at those contacts oh my goodness they're so bright but yeah um the music video for those are so amazing like they do so many transitions like i'm in love with it really stepping up their game and I'm really excited to know when their next comeback is I don't think from the time that I'm recording this I don't think there's been a release date for their next comeback but I kind of have a feeling it might be soon but we'll see I think these are lyrics yes honestly I really like X as well like as a b-side I really like that song And then this probably might be their thanks to their individuals. I don't know. I'm not sure for sure. But that was it for the photo book. And I think this is the door pass that everyone gets in their album. I believe there are two versions of this postcard. So this is the unit we got. So I think there are like two unit versions of this postcard. And then next up, oh my goodness, this is already on the back, but <laughs> we got Lino. Very cute. I kind of, I can't tell if I don't like or like this because it's like a cool design, but the picture is really small. Two versions of this, so you can get either or. So this is the version I got, and it's supposed to be like accordion, accordion, but just flip through it since it was easier to show the pictures that way. So that was the accordion. And for this photo card, because you can, oh, I feel like his hair just stuck through, but it's Bing Chun. So we did pull his back photo card. And then I'm pretty sure this is the unit photo card. And this is the unit line we pulled. Oh my god, they're so pretty. And I'll just go ahead and show that we got Lino for the pre order benefit. I think this is on the pre order. I don't know how many pre order benefits there were, but I think this was the pre order. So it's just a mini photo book, I think, or photo slide, um, accordion, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this is the version I got, or the number, my bad. So yep, that is it for this clip. Here's the album and then my pools, and we'll go ahead and move on to the next clip. Okay, so this should be my last package from Target, from that sale thingy that I did. But this box is like kind of big, so I can't fit like the full thing in frame. So as you can see, we have NCT, Super M, and BTS. And they actually bubble wrapped it. Except they only bubble wrap one side of the albums. They didn't bubble side both sides, so whatever. Anyways, um, I guess we'll go ahead and start in this order. So, this is the last BTS album I'll probably get in a while since I don't know why I did. <laughs> but oh my goodness, they make amazing music and they're such hardworking people. As I said, so I just decided to since they were like on sale as well. This was also a random version, so I got the O version. So here is the front, the side. Back the other side. I'm still shocked that these albums have come in like pretty good condition when like the way Target packaged some of these was a little sus. <laughs> so we have the CD plates again on a different piece. Honestly, I really like how they I would rather they do it this way where it's on a separate cardboard piece than in the album because whenever they had it in the album it would like dent the covering so i actually prefer it this way 
Oh, this track list is also amazing as well. Let me go ahead and pull out the pool. I just love all like their holographic like engravings or whatever you want to call it as well. It's so pretty. Honestly, I'm not sure what version I would have liked the best anyways, since I haven't looked into the other versions of this album. But I'm assuming this is probably just all black and white photos. Which isn't my favorite type of photo book, but it is still very pretty. I mean, we're getting some hints of pictures. I swear, what is it with idols and feet in their, their photo books lately? Because I, in like a, another box I like unpackaged today, there was like also another like foot in the frame. These idols just look so good, I swear. And they're just such hardworking people as well. They really do deserve to be where they are. And here are the lyrics and probably thanks to's. I have this little standy thing. I'm not sure how it works, but we're kind of just having like this little cute little like sleeping pose. The membership survey. This page. The notes. For their photo card. Oh, he's so cute, I swear. And then his little star shirt, so pretty. Super M's, Super One album, and this is, I believe, the Target ex exclusive album. And I decided to do this just so that I could get, say that I had like all versions of the photo book. Because even though there are still two other versions I don't have, it was like the other green version, the other like orange version. The photo books, I believe, are still like the same thing. So I decided to just get this covering since it looked better. <laughs> and then here's the track. Let's slide this out. The little plastic. This album version is just so bright. Go ahead and zoom in a little. The yeah, Dangerous Woman is my favorite B-side from this. It's so good. Their vocals in Dangerous Woman, top notch. I love it so much. Taman in this suit, I swear, it's gonna be the death of me. Wish You Were Here is also a very good song. I love that song as well. I'm not sure which photo book I like the best, but when it comes to the photo books, I think um, with all the group members in it, we're not like including like the units, we're just talking about like the green and the orange photo book, I guess I'm gonna call it like that. I think I do prefer this version over the green one, just because I think I like the outfits in this a lot more. Lucas just looks so good in here as well. His thighs, I swear. <laughs> I was like, I had to take a double take right there. Everyone's visuals are so good in here as well. Yeah, I think I definitely like this version more. Even though like it was cool how like they had like those ombre and like those buildings in the background, I think this version just stands out more to me. And that was it for the photo book. Open this up. Some little lyrics booklet. Never seen, but this is what the disc looks like for the orange version. For our postcard, we pull Taman. Let's go ahead and look at the folded poster. If I can open this properly. This is what the folded poster looks like. I definitely prefer the outfits for this version, I think. I believe this is the group card since it has the black background. This is the group card you get. And then for the random member, we pulled Kai. It's because I know it's not going to be in the slot, but we pulled Kai for the ID. Here we have NCT's New Zone album, and this is the T version. I didn't get the N or the C versions just because I knew if I wanted to get one version of this album, I would get the T version since. Obviously, it has like the biggest photo book. 
As you can see, I was literally fighting against the packaging for that. Okay, let's go ahead and go through this little baggie. Oh my gosh, the adhesive is so strong on these. Oh my gosh, I'm like struggling out here. Okay. Anyways, now I have like that sticky residue on my hand. But we just have the little sticker sheet or sticker set, my bad. The disc. Why would they put it like this? Where they would, you would have to cut through this to open it. I swear. I don't think I'm gonna open this disc then. Oh, I didn't know we get this. You get like a little lenticular. Let me figure out how it moves. Oh, it moves like that. Okay. <laughs> Almost like, um. This is the back of it. Kick it. Here is the folded poster. Very bright, I swear. Like my eyes. <laughs> and then here is the sticker sheet. This is what the photo book looks like here. This arrow was so good. Oh. We get another bright, beautiful picture. Even though Kick It has been like released so long ago, it's still such an iconic song. Oh, look at like these little Polaroids as well. I just love how big the pages are, though I do wish the pages had a glossy finish since I do usually prefer those type of photo books. Ooh, they actually do. Right when I said it, it changed to the glossy photo. But I'm kind of scared though. These pages are a little thinner side, like a magazine kind of. These Polaroid pages are so adorable. I had to zoom out just a little bit more just to make sure everything was in frame. Pizza boy, boy with a baguette. <laughs> I love, I just love how big these pictures are. You feel like you really get like all the details instead of like with smaller photo books, they tend to like, you, you tend to not like notice like the smaller things. And you can just see like the texture of their hair too. Boy, I wish that was my fridge. It wouldn't be like the healthiest fridge, but it looks like there's good things in there. <laughs> actually, now that I'm looking at that fridge, I'm not sure like that's the best fridge actually. But I love these snacks. Like I don't know what this is called, like this little biscuit thing with like the jelly thing inside, but I love them. I kind of just wish all of the pages were glossy, but they seem to be like alternating between that matte finish, like right here, and then this glossy finish. Ooh, I really like this concept. Right up my alley. And these are like my two favorite colors like put together. Like a lavender lilac and like that really light baby blue. I really like how fun this photo book is as well. Okay, I have to do a random cut because I forgot that there were random member inclusions and how I needed to take them out, but look at like these phone call pages and whatnot. This is such a fun, fun photo book, I love it. Ooh, there's like this thing. I forgot this was here. I think these are the thanks twos, yes. This is pretty unique. I think I like this. And then we have Mark with his like hand all up in the camera. Oh, 
little did we know they were going to add two more members to NCT for NCT 20. So, I mean, 22. Oh my gosh, 2020. Like, I jacked that up so badly, but... With their bandaged hands. He looks so expensive here. Ma'am? Like... <laughs> and then Johnny's abs out here. And then we have this that was like rubbing onto the back of the pages, but this is a very pretty shot, especially with these lanterns in the back. Even though it might be CGI, I'm not even completely sure at this point. Sometimes it looks like it's real, sometimes it's not. And we have the circle card. He looks so good with his hair. Ooh, is there a... Mm. Can you see that? There's like an indention from the card and the... Oh... That's kind of, that sucks. The photo card that we pulled, Johnny. I swear Johnny was the one who made the imprint here, but that's okay. So these were the three albums that I unboxed today along with the pulls that I got from them and we'll go ahead and move on to the next clip. In my last clip, I mentioned how I ordered the unit versions of Super M Super One album, right? Well, their um, full album and I, ordered it last week on on like the Target website so it's now Thursday and the albums did finally come in yikes <laughs> I was worried about the Target packaging because I was wondering if they were gonna do bubble wrap or not and as you can see they did not do bubble wrap <laughs> but the albums look to still be okay the edges don't look or the corners don't look bent so Everything is fine, luckily. <laughs> but yeah, I was really nervous about that. So let me figure out, I believe... Um, what were the unit versions? Okay, okay, I think this is unit A. <laughs> so unit A has Young and Taemin and unit B. I think... Hopefully I'm saying these in the right order. Watch me have them all wrong. But then we have Mark... Lucas and Bacon, and then the unit C has Ten and um, Kai. Hopefully I have that right. But we'll go ahead and look at the first unit. So yeah, now I've learned from last time to um, cut here, like in these like edge spots. Cause last time I did accidentally like cut through the plastic onto the album cover. Here's the front and the sides and the track list. Little clear piece. And move everything off. And then the little goodies. So here is the photo book. That's the wrong way. Okay, so apparently this is the front. Whoops, am I bad? I really did wish they did, they started doing um, sewn in spines because I do prefer those. And just because so much is like cut off in the corner because in case I don't want to make the pages messed up. But dang, look at the background. They really did some editing for these pictures. You know, sometimes with these backgrounds, I can't tell if there's like an LED like background that they have or if it's like green screen. It's most likely green screen, but like you never know. Look at this blue. But yeah, then I, um, I think I found out that the photo books are the same for like the two green versions and the two red version. Like the two red versions, they, um, have the same photo book I think and then the two green versions have the same photo book as each other look at all these birds but yeah each unit photo book is different since clearly it's for each unit so but they still have like I think they're still like the same photo shoots that are in the group versions of the photo books I really like these red suits on them I think 
the only version I guess that I'm missing is like one of the red ones I guess I'm gonna get and I'll probably just get the Target version since it's just more convenient for me to stop by Target and get it than order it online I guess because we saw how they packaged those albums from Target they did not bubble wrap them at all I was really hoping they were going to but I guess I shouldn't have expected it since I don't know, they probably don't care <laughs> if it like rip, if it comes bent or not. The English lyrics. But yeah, I think Tire Inside is my favorite, I guess, track that has an MV with it. So here's the lyric, or not the lyric book, I keep saying that. But I'm pretty sure all these pictures are the same. I'm pretty sure they are, but I'm just flip through it one time. And then I think the disc coloring might be the same for the units because I think they're all going to be blue. So I think this is the only time that I'll go through the um, CD case thingy. <laughs> I'm going to just do it sideways. Or well, hold on. I guess I can do this and then it fits them. That's the unit poster. We got, oh, we got another bacon. I did pull this in my green um, group version. Next up, we have the little ID photo card. I don't know why they put it like with these um, slots because every unboxing I've seen, they don't even stay in the slots. So like, it's kind of pointless. Oh, we got Taman. I think all these ID cards, like the picture is the same for every single member, but Depending on what version you get, like it's either like blue, green, or red. What's up? We have oh, we pulled a mark. Oh my god, this hair. Oh, <laughs> I can't, I can't tell. Like oh my gosh, how does he pull that off? That is such a bright color. I could never. A uh, unit version comes with a unit photo card. Oh my gosh, they look so cute. That was everything for unit A, and next we have unit B. I swear, if I have these all wrong, I'm gonna be so embarrassed. Ugh. So here's the front, the side, and the back. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So here is the photo book. But yeah, oh, I swear there's so many comebacks in October that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep up because I really need to limit how like what items I get. But sometimes, <clears throat> like ex like lately, I've just been like impulsively buying albums that I don't have as like a priority, but I still get them because like. These Super M albums, for example, they weren't a priority for me, but here I am with all the unit versions when for their first mini, I believe, I only got like two members and then I did end up buying um, two of their universal, what's that called? The universal version? Man, yeah, I really do need to listen to- oh my god, this is his picture for the postcard. But I really need to cut back on my spending because it ain't fun. With <laughs> My bank account ain't having fun with this. These tracks, oops. <laughs> I just noticed that this was on like upside down. <laughs> I had to take like a double look at it. Their skin is so flawless. Like every time I look at it, it's like literally like poreless. I mean, there might be some editing too, but like I'm pretty sure like their skin is like perfect on its own. So that is it for the photo book. I'm sorry if you're hearing like background noise because my family. So here it is. Oh my gosh. 
It's like so big that I can't even fit it in here. And my family is being so loud in the background. Oh my goodness. But yep, that is the folded poster. Next up, oh, we got a Tayman postcard. I really like how these postcards are glossy. E Ooh, we pulled a Lucas. So we did pull another Lucas. But the other version I had was from the green version. Next up, we have the unit. Oh, so adorable. Mark's pink hair is just standing out so hard right now. And a member. We got Taya. Oh my gosh. But I love how long their messages are on these photo cards. Next up, we do have the unit C album version. But yeah, this will also be the last clip of this haul, by the way. Unless it isn't, then whoops. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be. Oh, I didn't even show everything, but yeah. I'm pretty sure you get the gist, but just in case. Like, you know, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like the same except for the cover. <laughs> and like quickly, because I do have somewhere to be soon. So... I'll just go ahead and flip through this last photo book. I really like the sunset that's going on. I love this photo shoot so much. Oh my gosh. Always have to be flexing their money with like, what are these, helicopters? I think, even though it's not real, I'm pretty sure it's like edited in, but still, because for dropping, they actually brought in a helicopter for Kai or for Kai's scene, and then they brought in all those sports cars, oh my goodness. And then people were making fun of the Super M, um, any profile pictures they were, because they were starting to look like a car dealership, <laughs> which I'm like, oh my goodness. It makes sense though, because I swear dropping just, they were just flexing that money, you know? It feels so awkward going through these photo books because I can't open it all the way, so it's just like weird. But yeah, at first I think Kai was my bias for Super M because he's my bias in EXO. But then Ten and Lucas started um, catching my eye. So now I haven't even made a decision, I just let it be like. <laughs> I haven't even officially like said who's my bias in, at Super M because everyone's just catching my eye, so I just can't make a decision. <laughs> so it is what it is. And then English lyrics. The unit poster. Next up, we have the postcard, and oh, we got a group one. Actually, I didn't even know they were doing group ones. I thought it was going to be just a random number, but yeah, we did pull a group one. I love the quality on this. I swear, glossy just makes it like the details pop out. I don't know if it's just like I'm being dumb and it's like a biased opinion, but I swear it makes details stand out. Like, ooh, we got Kai. He kind of looked mad though. <laughs> I don't know why this is reminding me of Obsession Era, but we did pull Kai. This is a Unit 1, and oh my gosh, they look so pretty. Ten kind of looks scary in this, no lie, like, <laughs> he's like staring into my soul, I swear. So, yes, we did pull another group one. So yep, that was everything with the three unit versions of the albums and all of my pulls. And this was the last clip of this haul, so I'll go ahead and see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.